As part of the Spain-UNEP Partnership for Protected Areas, the Marine Mammals Corridors Project is working to conserve and safeguard the planet's resources for now and for future generations. This initiative is one of 11 projects supporting over 15 protected areas worldwide, providing direct support to some of the marine and terrestrial areas that need the help the most. The Marine Mammals Project across the wider Caribbean and Southeast and Northeast Pacific will help protect marine life by mapping regional migration routes and critical habitats. This will inform marine spatial planning and the development of integrated management measures to support the coordination of activities for the protection of marine mammals. As well as the conservation of endangered biodiversity, this project will provide a number of direct benefits, including income generation through ecotourism and enhanced transboundary and in-country governance for better management. I believe the wider Caribbean region plays a very important role internationally and especially for all marine mammal species. For example, we have pilot whales, the abundance of dolphins, and the largest concentration of humpback whales in the North Atlantic. One of the main threats for marine mammals are the heavy traffic in the area. And developing those marine mammal corridors, we might regulate those traffic avoiding with its ship strike against whales and other mammals. We need to protect all species reported and the corridors could be the best way for doing that. I am very optimistic in this project and I hope to see a multinational, multilateral and diverse specialist working together with the official and non-governmental organizations for the protection of marine mammals in the region. In 2010, global commitments were made to conserve at least 10% of the world's marine and coastal areas worldwide. The Spain-UNEP partnership directly works towards this goal. <laughs>